Alright you lot, let's talk about the biggest bottle jobs in the Premier League this weekend and somehow we're not talking about Manchester United who managed to bottle a lead in the 109th minute. We're talking about a supposed Champions League challenging side, Aston Villa. So as I'm sure you're all aware, despite having 70% of the possession, I'll chuck the match stats up here, not that it matters, um, in the game, outperforming Brentford in large majorities, um, having more shots, etc, etc. And in the four, well, up until the 60th minute, really, having a 2-0 lead over a team that came into this game 15th in the league or something like that. Uh, we managed to draw 3 all uh, in the 59th minute to the 68th minute. We went from a 2-0 lead to a 3-2 loss. And it is one of the biggest capitulations I have seen Villa perform this season. It was at Villa Park, which makes it even more embarrassing. Um, and everyone on that pitch should be mightily embarrassed of what has just happened. A few things I want to point out. Number one, Villa Park. How was that a fortress at the beginning of the season? And then we've gone to this. I fully don't understand. When we play against a low block, we look so inept to deal with it. And... Today wasn't a skill thing. I don't think anyone could say that Brentford are a better team than Aston Villa. They'd be ridiculous to say that. Skill-wise, player for player, you look at the matchups, we're a better team. Today was all about up there. And these bottle jobs do not have the mentality to get Champions League football. And if we do get Champions League football by sneaking into fifth, because, yes, I'm sorry, the positive Villa brigade on Twitter, fourth is gone, lads. Just accept it. It is what it is. No one, no one's saying that we're not having a good season. We're just saying fourth is gone. Just please accept it. Get it through your heads. It's gone. Um, that's a mentality thing. And I don't think we're going to go far in the Champions League next year, um, even if we make signings in the summer, which it seems like our hands are tied with that as well. If we have to go into the qualifying stages, um, I wouldn't even back us to get in there, to be honest with you, at the moment, how we're playing since January or since December, really. It has been poor. And today, today was all about that. And that's what we lacked today. 2-0 up against Brentford. We throw away the lead. Three goals in nine minutes for Brentford to take it to 3-2. Disgraceful goals. Players switching off. The defence looking like they're fresh out of maybe getting promoted from League 2. Something seriously needs to happen. Esri Conson needs to be back at centre-back immediately because something is up with that defence. We are leaking goals like no one's business at the moment. And I think we're probably on course in the second half of the season. I'd like to see our defensive stats because there's no way we're top half uh, at the table for defensive stats for like goals conceded in the second half of the season. We have been poor. But again, a mentality thing. Ollie Watkins said it in his post-match interview. He literally said we lacked a big team mentality. And that's what I want to talk about with all these people on Twitter and they're saying, oh, you know, we're still going to get fourth. Oh, look, you Villa fans, you know, you're getting annoyed after one loss, one draw, whatever. We've been smacked 4-1 by Man City. Fair enough. We accept that. We move. This draw was unacceptable. It's not a point gained. I don't, people are saying, oh, you know, we, we, you know, at least we got away with a point. We didn't drop all three. Literally, pack your bags, yeah, and book a flight to Ibiza. Go Ocean Rocks or whatever it is you need to do to like get out your like stupidity and come back to England with a sensible head on. That is three or two points dropped today. It's not a point gained. We should have never been in the position. Oh God, focus. Uh, we should have. Sorry about that. My camera just lost focus. We should have never been in the position to be three two down. Bottles. The tactics this week have been a little bit off in terms of the Man City game resting that many players. The players' heads can drop after that. The substitutions today, taking off Morgan Rogers, who I think was one of our best players out there today, got his first goal for Villa. A great goal as well, by the way. Called that. Taking him off for Zaniolo. Bringing Diaby on in the 90th minute. Benching Diaby after he's had one of the best months of his career, especially his best month of his career for Villa. It just didn't make sense. And I'm not questioning Emery. He's still clearly doing a fantastic job. And it is still a good season. Please, I don't want this positive Villa brigade to think that I don't think it's been a good season. It has been. But now we're in the position where we can actually be annoyed about these results. And yes, fourth is probably gone, lads. Tottenham are two games in hand with... Uh, sorry, two points behind us with two games in hand. Do you seriously think they're going to be dropping that many points? Come off of it. Come off of it. They need to win one of their two games in hand. One of which, may I remind you, is against Nottingham Forest, who are fighting relegation at the moment. And Spurs look like a team that can actually go into those games and put it away. The commentary said it, there's a nervous atmosphere around Villa Park. 
It's because we know this team just doesn't have the cojones to bring it home. I'm sorry, it's true. And another person who has absolutely fluffed their lines today is Douglas Louise, a petulant, childish challenge in the 97th minute. He's now out for two games. You think we have a chance against Arsenal with Tielemans and McGinn as our centre mid partnership? Come off of it. Come off of it. Disgusting performance from those lads today. Fantastic for 60 minutes. But to capitulate like that, it shows they don't have that and they don't have that at the moment. And I tell you what, perhaps we don't even deserve Champions League next year if we're going to perform like that. The rest of this season, we have been Champions League contenders 110%. Now we have what? A couple of months left of the season and six cup finals. I think fourth is gone. If we can sneak into fifth, fair enough. But we need to get this big mentality. People need to get on these players back in these games. I'm sick and tired of the positive Villa Brigade making excuses and saying we're good to come out of a point. You know, we've been doing really well this season. We shouldn't even be top four. You know, look, our oh, master club, blah, blah, blah. That's how you lose these types of players. That's how you lose a Watkins. Look at his post-match press conference, lacking that big team mentality. That's how you lose a Douglas Louise. If this was another team who this happened to against Brentford in the top four, they would be fuming, getting on their players' back, having that winning mentality. Buckle your ideas up, Villa fans. Buckle your ideas up to those 11 men on the pitch today. Up the Villa. Come back stronger than last time. But that was pathetic today. And I hope they know it.